Hey everyone, Sean Frangella here for motionutorials.net with some illustrator tips on how to recreate the title logo from the new film, The Nice Guys. I saw this logo both in the movie trailer as an animation and on print posters, and I was a big fan of the style of it, and I thought it'd be a fun exercise to try to recreate it in Illustrator. Specifically, I wanted to talk a bit about how to use the blend tool in Illustrator to make creating some of these shapes and the space between them automatic and geometrically accurate. So here we have the finished recreated logo in Illustrator, which I thought came out pretty close. And in that time-lapse video, it took just a little over 10 minutes to redraw it. And what helped a lot was this blend tool. And if you're not familiar with it, it's this one down here. And what this will usually do by default is say you have two different shapes of different colors. And if you take them and go to Object, Blend, Make, or Alt Command B, it's going to combine them and blend the colors together. Well, that's not really helpful for this look. What we want to do is use this tool to help with automatically adding in these middle lines. And if we look at this one and go to Blend, Release, we're actually using the Blend tool to do that. So the way we can do that is when we have two things selected, double click this Blend tool. And instead of Smooth Color under Space, we're going to change it to Specific Steps. And now if we change this, let's say we had four and do all command B, it's going to blend these together. And what's great about this is that the original ones are still editable and you can move them and it's going to automatically interpolate the space between it as well as the colors. You can see even when they're spaced out, the colors transition from this pink to orange. So we just undo that. And let's say it was only one step when we do alt command B. It's going to blend those together and this applies to paths and arcs and curves as well. So here we have that logo. Here is some of the artwork that I found where the logo was used. So again, pretty cool logo. I thought it was pretty nice. I'm not sure who made it yet, but I was trying to figure that out. So if you know what studio made this, let me know and I'll drop a link in the comments and say we want to get started with drawing this out. Well, we could get a rounded rectangle over here, draw this outer line swap those colors and pull these little circles to bend this to the right size and just get this first one in the right shape and just pull this down and then you see for cut to cut the bottom off and then we could just make this a thicker stroke and make it this pink color and then to get the inner one we can copy and paste in front with command f and then same idea just scale this one down to the center and then get our direct select arrow and just pull the points down, make that one orange. And if we just want to make sure real quick, all these points are on the same horizontal line, rather than grabbing a guide, we could grab just all these bottom points, get our align menu, make sure we're on align to selection and do a vertical line bottom. That'll make sure that they're all evenly distributed. And again, what's awesome about the blend tool is if we pop this open right here, make sure it's on specific steps one grab both of these and do alt command B. Check that out. It's going to automatically make that center one. We could still get either of these, change it, and it's going to automatically update and it interpolates the color as well. So we could use this for a lot of things to help with this, which is really useful for this geometry. Even with these tall lines, rather than using spacing to distribute them, if we had this, we could use blend to drop in that center one and know it's right in the middle and interpolating the height. We could use it for help on this C if we just drew this outer ring, same idea, cut some of these, delete those points, copy paste in to front, drag this one down, change our colors, and then same idea, Alt Command B, and it's gonna blend those together. And then if we wanted to actually make this permanent, we could go to Object, expand appearance, click OK, and then we could grab all of these and ungroup them. And there's our actual paths if we needed that color. And it does a pretty cool job even on more complex shapes. Like let's say we're drawing this G, which I already have down here that I started to draw earlier. And just for the sake of talking through it, let's check out these lines, even when they're a little more complex. So we got this outer shape. That's this arc in the bottom. And then we got this inner part of the G that's not quite drawn as perfect, but you get the general idea. 
If we wanted to blend those together, it's gonna work on that as well. And look how close that gets. So it's some really cool techniques. It can save you a lot of time if you're trying to redraw this type of artwork and make sure it's geometrically accurate and can be a really fun tool to use if you take a look at these different settings for it. So this was a fun little quick tip to put together. I hope you learned a lot. And if you wanna check out some more movie title recreations, getting into animation, be sure to check out some of those other videos I have by clicking any of those thumbnails that are up there right there. We'll talk about recreating 2D animation titles, 3D animation, and lots of cool movie title animations that you might've seen in theaters and we'll try to create them with After Effects, Cinema 40, and all kinds of other software. Thanks for watching. I will see you at the next video.